you want to move from where you are and then get on to the next destination, you should need to pray that God give me the grace to identify opportunities. Because a lot of people don't recognize opportunities in life. Opportunities does not only mean that the things that look very fantastic. In fact, opportunities are wrapped in rags. Opportunities are wrapped in challenges, in problems. Creating solutions for problems gives you opportunity. If you are not able to create solutions, then you can't identify the opportunity in that. There is a framework your mind should work that will enable you to see opportunities in things that look very difficult. In fact, opportunity lies in chaos. As you, as you journey in this life, you will see that most of the things that people walk away from and they think that, oh, this, there is no solution to these things. If you have, if God equip you with that mind, with that consciousness, with that understanding and insight and produce a solution for that thing, it can turn your life completely around. In the world of biotech, all you just need to do in biotechnology is create a novel idea, create a novel product. So some of you that study biochemistry or microbiology and all of that, you understand that if you do a gene therapy, even if you just had to just go for FDA approval for phase one alone, your life is turned around. That is how innovations can turn lives around. You need to be able to identify opportunities. Opportunities in where you are, where you are. Opportunities abroad, opportunities here. In fact, we live, the world is, is, a, is such a global world that where you are, you can be commanding money from outside and you can be here. You can also be outside and you can also be commanding assets here because it works diverse ways. And may God give you that grace to identify opportunities. If rather than praying that witches and wizards should die, I think the prayer I should be praying more is that God open my eyes to see opportunities. And not only see opportunities, give me the grace to be able to execute that opportunities. So that it's such un I'll be so uniquely positioned in my world that nobody will be able to produce that solution harder than me. I look at the life of Joseph and when they brought him to the king and he told the king the dream and interpreted the dream. He did not only interpret the dream, gave the solution. The king looked around and said, who is going to help us with this situation? And what happened? The king himself said, look, out of everybody here, there is no other person I feel will be more qualified than this man. Because he identified the problem. Then he gave the solution. And then he was uniquely positioned to give, to carry out the plan so that the whole nations would not die of hunger. God will give that grace in the name of Jesus. A lot of people cannot identify opportunities, but they cannot implement it. A lot of people can identify problems. They can mention all the kinds of problems in this place, but they cannot identify the opportunities to solve it. But this morning, the God will give you the insight, the wisdom, the understanding to be able to identify problems, prefer solutions to it, and be in a position to implement it. Because that might be the difference between somebody that is poor and somebody that will be rich. It might be just one solution that you will solve and the whole, the whole thing will turn around for you. 